When polar shades first started making masks just one week ago, they had to use what material they had available. Shades. Now they have better material and they're cranking out thousands of masks and gowns a day. All the area hospitals, they have nothing. We were able to take a gown they provided and reverse engineer it, do a CAD drawing of it, and within 45 minutes, we are cutting them on our table. Polar Shades owner Steve Mevius told me it's a race against the clock to help the people helping everyone else. If they get sick, we're in trouble. This high speed equipment usually cuts materials for shades. We are now cutting 84 gowns every four minutes. About 12,000 gowns a day. Cuts in the front. Steve's crews are also making 2,000 surgical masks a day. They partnered with a firm in Henderson to do the sewing. We have actually four layers in here, and then we send it over to them after we weld it, have them sew the edges, pleat it. Volunteers sew other masks for employees. None of this PPE is FDA approved, but Steve told me he showed them to local doctors. They've approved it. Uh, comprehensive Cancer came and picked up some masks today. They're very happy with it. Medical staff at the UNLV drive through Testing Center and the Quick Care on West Sahara are a little better equipped now, too. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the shop, 3D printers are working on N95 respirators. The interchangeable filters make these masks reusable. It's a game changer. All the changes at Polar Shades are costly. And we bought $50,000 worth of material to make gowns that came out of our pocket. Steve told me they've had help from local companies like Thrive Industries and the city of Henderson. They're not trying to profit during the pandemic. Yes, we're a shade manufacturer. We want to get back to making shades. But until we know that everyone has the equipment to be safe, you know, we've got a job to do. If you would like to donate any supplies or money, we've posted the link on our website, fox5vegas.com. I'm Kyla Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.